friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of fecal specification of this soft cataract nuclear sclerosis is about grade 2 in this case this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision the eyeball is stabilized by a cotton tipped junction bud and now capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uterator forceps the tip of the uterator forceps is used to make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule a capsule attack is raised and this capsule attack is guided anti clockwise to complete the rexus and now hydrodissection is done with the help of bases and this 27 gauze cannula fluid wave goes to the other side the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is rotated visco is again injected and now i'm taking help of this pre chopper and the sustainer to divide this nucleus into two heminuclei the nucleus appears quite hard it's not grade 2 it is about grade 3 nuclear sclerosis now the handpiece goes in the handpiece goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down and some superficial lens matter is aspirated and now this is division of the heminucleus into smaller pieces so the heminucleus has been divided into three pieces and each nuclear piece is emulsified with ultrasonic energy ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60% fluorite is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 mm of mercury this is faros from ortley switzerland now we come to this piece it is divided into two pieces at this time during the later part of the surgery the vacuum is reduced to 250 and 20 250 mm of mercury and flow rate is kept at 25 some amount of cortex is also removed by the handpiece so a lot of cortex has been removed i am not trying to remove the subincisional cortex and now i inject some visco in the anterior chamber then take a simco cannula go through this side port and remove this cortex from 12 o'clock and 11 o'clock and now i am using the simco to polish the posterior capsule as much as possible and now is the time to polish the posterior capsule with the help of the irrigating cannula i have stopped using the cap pack mode or capsular polish mode where we use the irrigating cannula as well as the aspirating cannula to polish the posterior capsule here i use only the irrigating probe and sweep over the posterior capsule 
the irrigating jet of fluid can dislodge any cells sticking to the posterior capsule. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I'm going to use a B cartridge. So I enlarge the main wound a little bit. The wound which was 2.8 millimeter is now about 3 millimeter. And now hydro implantation of this single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. This is an aspheric lens made of hydrophobic acrylic material. The irrigating cannula is being used to irrigate the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber to remove any visco. So we are towards the end of this surgery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now the side port is closed. It is made watertight by hydrating the corneal stroma with PSS. And now the This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Now the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Learn to use pre-chopper for soft cataracts.